Hi everyone, this is your tutor, Sir A, and I will going to discuss to you about one of the applications that we can use from Google, and that is Google Docs. Ano nga ba yung Google Docs at ano ba ang pinakaiba nito sa ginagamit natin sa computer na Microsoft Word o kaya naman kung gagamit tayo ng Mac computer yung Pages. At ano ang advantage ng paggamit ng Google Docs? So, ang Google Docs is a word processor program included as part of a free web-based software office suite offered by Google. Kaya, if you have a Google account o kaya naman ay DepEd email account, pwede natin gamitin ang Google Docs. Before, kapag ka gumagawa tayo ng Word document, and kailangan nating ipa-edit or ipadagdagan sa ating team member, ang ginagawa natin usually is, we're going to create a document, we save it in our computer, and then we send it to our group member using email, o kaya naman, you send it through messenger. And then, your group member will download it, and then add something to the document that you have created, and then once it's done, save to his computer and then send back to you. Or if you have, for example, three members of the group, isesend naman niya sa isa pa naman yung ka, ka member. And then the same process, save and then send back to you. So that is the usual thing that we are doing if we are creating a document and it's a group effort. Now, Dito papasok si Google Doc. So, para maiwasan ng ganong proseso sa paggagawa ng Word document wherein we are collaborating with other members of the group, pwede natin gamitin ang Google Docs as one of the powerful collaborating tool so that all the members of the group can add, edit, or type something in one document anywhere as long as they have the internet connection and they have the same link just like what you are doing anywhere real time so that maiiwasan na yung isesend mo sa kanya and then ibabalik sa'yo kasi dito, once we're using the Google Docs, anyone can put something to the document. Just make sure you have the same Google document link and you have internet connection. So for us to make a document in Google Docs, make sure you open your Gmail account and then you go to Google Apps and then click Docs. And then to start a new document, we click blank. And then it will show you a new blank document with an title document file. So let's say for example, gagawa kami ng research ni Ma'am Noemi at ni Ma'am Doris. So I will going to put the file name here, research Creus Estalilia Varias. So that will be the file name of our Google document. So as an example, I will going to create a Google document wherein we will going to start doing our research proposal entitled Research Productivity of Master Teachers in General Trio City Towards the Development of Gentry Salixic Time at Technical Assistance in Research. So together with our superintendent, Ma'am Doris and Ma'am Noemi. Nilagay ko dito ang iba't ibang parts ng isang basic research na binigay na template ng regional office under BIRF. So, ang gagawin namin dito is, for us to collaborate with each other in doing our research proposal. So, kunwari, si Ma'am Doris will be assigned to put something in the literature review, tapos ako naman, I will put something under introduction and rationale, and then si Ma'am Noemi naman ang maglalagay ng timetable o kaya naman plans for dissemination and utilization. So, dapat itong Google document na ito will be given to them and they will have an access to put something. So, paano yon? So, I need to share this Google document created to Ma'am Noemi and Ma'am Doris. How? By clicking the share button. Once you click the share button, it will give you the capability of adding those people who will be part of your team so that they can add something to this Google document. So, for us to add, you just click this and then type the email address of that person. Let's say, for example, yung kay Ma'am Noemi. So, noemi.varias at deped.gov.ph. Now, you will notice 
that uh, this drop down arrow can give you the the setting to Ma'am Noemi. So anong klasing accessibility ang gusto mong ibigay kay Ma'am Noemi? Gusto mo ba siya ay viewer lamang? Ibig sabihin, Ma'am Noemi can view only this Google document or commenter siya. When we say commenter, she can put comments in any parts of the document but she cannot edit or editor siya. Pag sinabi mong editor, she can add, she can delete. She can do whatever she wants just like your capability. So since si Ma'am Noemi ay ka-member namin dito sa group, so click editor ko siya. Aside from kay Ma'am Noemi, ilalagay pa namin na isa pang member ay si Ma'am Doris. So I will just type the email address of Ma'am Doris. No. You will notice na meron checkbox dito. You it will... says, notify people. Meaning to say, once it is checked, si Ma'am Noemi at si Ma'am Doris makaka-receive ng email saying na inad ko sila dito sa Google Doc na ito. If you uncheck this one, hindi sila makaka-receive ng email. But once they open this Google Documents, they can add something. So for them to be notified, you just check this one. And then click Send. So Ma'am Noemi and Ma'am Doris were added as an editor in this Google Document that I have created. So once they open the link, they can put something in this document or they can edit something or they can delete something since you added them as an editor. What if you have a document that you want your teachers to read it and you don't like them to have the capability of editing your document or adding something or deleting something? Let's say, for example, this Google document about project work plan and budget matrix should be disseminated to all the teachers in JCBS. For you to share it to your teachers, you just click again the share button, and then from here, you will not going to type any email address here, add people and group, because you just want them to view this document. So how are you going to do it? Just click change, and then under anyone with the link, click the drop-down arrow and then click Viewer. After that, you copy this link, click Done, and then share the link to the group chat of your school. So that once the teachers click the link, they can view this Google document, but they will not be able to add or edit something to the document that you have shared. So that is how you use Google Docs. To collaborate with other members of the group so that they can edit and add something to the document that you are doing by simply clicking share and then here in add people and group you type the email address of your group members and then let them be notified and then click send and then if you want this document to be shared to others and they can only view the document and do not have the capability of editing it Make sure that once you click change here, you will see that they can only view the document by simply clicking viewer and not editor. And then after that, so you can change this drop down arrow. You can have anyone with the link or department of education. Ano pinakaiba ng dalawa? If you have department of education, mabubuksan lamang ito ng mga teachers na ang email addresses nila na ginagamit ay yung DepEd email. While, if you have anyone with the link, kahit anong gamitin nilang Gmail nila, let's say for example, they will use their personal Gmail, kaya nilang buksan itong Google document na to. So, to be safe, you just choose anyone with the link. And then make sure they are viewer. And then click copy link. And then click done and then paste the link to your group chat so that they can have the Google Doc link. And once they click it and open it, they will see what document you have shared to them, but they will not be able to edit something to that document. Since you set the setting only to them as viewer. Unlike yung kanina, we're in... We will make a research together with Ma'am Noemi and Ma'am Doris. I add them as an editor so that they can edit something in the document. 
So that's the difference between sharing your document to others as an editor and sharing your documents to others as a viewer.